Namaste. I'm Dr. Shweta. I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist. I'm a fertility consultant as well. I practice at Janista Fertility Center and Hospital, which is located at Basveshwar Nagar in Bangalore. I'm the managing director of Janista Fertility Center and Hospital. Janista. Why Janista? What does Janista mean? Janista means desire. Most of the people come here with a desire to conceive, and that is why we chose the name as Janista. COVID is a relatively new pandemic, so the effects of the COVID infection on human gametes and on pregnancy is not yet known. But there are studies which have been done from past 10 months or so just to know the effect of COVID on human gametes like oocyte and sperm. Now, what is the effect of this COVID infection in the male human sperm? What happens? Does it transmit? Is virus found in the semen? Yes, virus is found in the semen during active phase of infection in men. So this is why in case if the person comes for IVF treatment during the COVID pandemic, it is always recommended to do a test for COVID infection for the male and then only proceed with IVF. And in case in between the IVF treatment, if the male person is positive, it is always recommended to take extra precautions in the IVF laboratory that we generally do it. So how do we take extra precautions is that, you know, we take the sperm, process it and then make it uh, viral load free and then use a separate container to freeze the embryos which is formed by using the sperm. So these are certain precautions that has to be taken. But the effect of this on the embryo quality or the pregnancy is not known. It is always the same whether you have COVID infection or it is not there, the pregnancy rate is the same. So this is the effect on the human male sperm. Now what happens if the woman is positive for COVID infection? Generally, in between the treatment, if she turns positive, we go ahead with the treatment and form the embryos and keep it. But once uh, she becomes negative and after two to three months later, we will go ahead and do the embryo transfer when she's completely negative of this COVID infection.